So we're currently building the hull and we're actually making a foam mold of the hull. To do that, we made a CAD drawing of it and put it into this program. And the next step after that is to put fiberglass over that and mold that to it so we have a fiberglass shell. And we chose fiberglass because it's hard, it's durable in cold temperatures. We lay them down sheet by sheet and we have some epoxy that we'll be painting onto the foam. We have fiberglassed the hole and it's dry. Looks like, looks like this. Um, but now we have to get all the foam out and the only way to do that is to dig it out. All right, so this is our tread frame and we are cutting the track down to size so we can stretch it out over this frame and it will fit in nicely and propel our vehicle. So today we're punching the holes in our tread. This will allow the drive wheel to fit into them and pull the tread along, which will move the vehicle forward. So what we've just did is we placed the drive sprockets into the tread frame and then secured the tread over and tensioned it. This part of our testing phase, what we're testing is waterproof of our prototype. We removed all the electronics from inside of the hull and we placed weights to simulate that removed weight. It is floating well. By adding the weight to the back, it is pretty horizontal, which we think will be good for future testing. So now what we want to do is add the thruster, hopefully in the next two days, and see how that helps with water to land transitions. 